Warming at an alarming pace, the planet is dangerously close to a red line from which scientists say there is no return, prompting this blunt warning to the G7 from UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. We are at the verge of the abyss. If uh, the global average temperatures uh, have already, uh, uh, are already 1.2 degrees above pre-industrial levels, very close to 1.5, that is th the limit. Any more, and the world will not be able to evade the worst impacts of climate change. How much time is left to act? I think this year is the make it or break it year. If we fail in Glasgow, we'll be in a very difficult situation. As I said, on the verge of the abyss, you must make sure that the next step is in the right direction. Human-caused climate disruption is now damaging every region. The most recent report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change details the suffering already happening. Half of humanity is already in the danger zone. Each increment of global heating will further increase the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events. That is why we must limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees. Keeping 1.5 alive requires a 45% reduction in global emissions by 2030 to reach carbon neutrality by mid-century. But, according to current national commitments, global emissions are set to rise by almost 14% this decade. The world must end its addiction to fossil fuels, especially coal. At the same time, we must invest equally in adaptation and resilience. We're just going to stand here a few minutes and just feel how utterly depressed and miserable it is to be a human today. This is what life is in America, in case you want to know overseas. Look, you have a Jaguar. You're so special. Now, how does someone who doesn't have any family or friends or any outlets find community, how do they not want to commit suicide looking at this? This is literally the extent of life. This is how special we've made it. Isn't it so beautiful? Okay, now imagine in eight, less than eight years our atmosphere is stripped from uh, the nuclear facilities blow up and it strips our atmosphere and we, we can't even breathe anymore. Or how about we have 46 days of a heat wave? How about hundreds of millions of people die on the fucking equator? Is this straight up insanity or what? How stupid is this? All these people are strangers, don't even fucking know each other, they don't even talk to each other. There is no community. Or you go to church and you read about old shit that doesn't even apply. Like science and reality. This is what younger people see. You know, I get these older people that comment on my channel all the time and they're like, blah, 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 me, me, me. No, 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 just look, this is, this is our world right now. This is the world that they fucking built for us. You get my drift? With billions of people dying in the next two decades. Doesn't it sound great? Doesn't it sound like music? Like music is playing, like an orchestra? Look how pretty it is. Look, we're so special in our cars. But look, someone's driving a Tesla, so you know that means, and they got a, they got a um, red pig on it, which means they're part of that tribe. Cool, this looks great, considering, you know, like hundreds of millions of people are gonna be uh, food starved to death. This is exactly the scene I wanted to see before I, all that went down. I just really, I really want to get this across. I really want to, I want you under, to understand this is the world of someone who, what it looks like to someone who's sane and follows reality and the science. This is how it looks. Thank you. This is what I wanted growing up.